Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner. In this video, I have you guys a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. And it's going to be on the Shadow deck that I used in that Salvation video. A couple of people wanted to see my list and I figured why not share it. I'm going to be selling this deck off this weekend anyway. So it's not like I'm going to have a chance to profile this again anytime soon. I'm still missing some cards to build this thing IRL. In particular, I'm missing cards in the extra deck. I meant to pick up a Noia Tillis and I don't have a Trapeze Magician. I just I was only able to get the commons for Cloud and Blue. I, was, I figured I'd get Trapeze with Magician at a later date, but whatever. Uh, for the purpose of this video, though, I'll tell you what those cards do while explaining just what this thing is. But, you know, this is Performage, Shadows, this is my build. And I haven't been playing this deck for a whole long time, but I do understand a good portion of the theory behind it and the reasons why certain card choices are good in here and certain not. So I still feel my explanations will be worth listening to. That being said, let's get on with this. So, as with any Shadow deck, you run Shadow Monsters, and Shadows, having been around for a very long time, we should know what they do. They have flip effects, they have effects when they're sent to the graveyard by effects, i.e., your fusion spells and removals, yada yada yada. So, for the ratios, I'm running three Skamata, two Beast, two Dragon, two Hedgehog, and two Falco. This is just a choice I made because of, well, A, Salvation, you play against a lot of random things, so I feel the second dragon is warranted, and B, the third skill mod I feel is really, really good because in this build, you're going to be going to Construct way more frequently than you do, given that you have good lights to fuse in neck now, so getting this guy's effect to send things so you can uh, take advantage of Construct send things. In particular, I find myself sending fusion spells plus core because... I have one fusion, but I don't have the other, and that allows me just to pump out another fusion monster. Plus, 1800 attacks, pretty okay. You can just summon an L Shadow fusion with a Trick Clown in your hand and go into Construct and pull back an L uh, Trick Clown. So, yeah, those are the ratios. I found these to be working quite well. As for the other half of the engine, which is where this deck gets its name from, I'm running. Three Perform H Trick Clown, three Perform H Hat Tricker, and no, rather three Damage Juggler and two Hat Tricker. I keep getting these two mixed up. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, these are the Perform Ages. One half of the Clown Blade Engine. You guys should know what that does at this point. It was a deck that was getting a lot of attention, but then Lava Ball Chain took a ban list to the knee, and well, rightfully so. The cards degenerate, and while it made a lot of decks, including Clown Blade. Fun and easy to play. Lava Ball Chain was incredibly degenerate, and I don't think I've ever seen a format where Lava Ball Chain was being used in a fair manner. So, that being said, on to these guys. So, if you don't know what they do, uh, Perform Ages are a series of spellcaster monsters with effects that enables you to spam rank fours. Trick Clown has the ability to, to summon any Perform Age monster from the graveyard when it's sent to the graveyard by any means, and then its attack and defense becomes zero, and then you take a thousand damage. So he, when he's sent to the graveyard, either by battle, by detaching, or by fusing with him, because he is a light, so you can make construct with it, he'll bring back any perform age monster and take a thousand damage, usually himself, and he'll be zero zero. But that's fine because you'll probably have a level four on play and you can just rank four. Uh, damage juggler has the ability to discard himself to prevent it. Uh, one damage from a battle, so if you're being swung at directly, you can pitch him and you'll take nothing. He also has the ability to discard himself to negate any burn effect and kill the card. This hits a lot of niche things, but most notably, it can kill Wavering Eyes. When a cleat, when a tower's turbo deck is going off and you open with this in hand, it's like, uh, scout, no, yeah, blah, 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 oh, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna vote my scales. No, you're not, I'm gonna pitch this to negate that because you're gonna try and deal 500 damage to me. And then his final effect is when he's in the graveyard, you can banish him to add a Perform H card except himself from your Nectar Hand. So that makes him a pretty good fusion card, pluck target for Construct, and it works beautifully with Mathematician, as you can have this guy search out Trick Clown if you want to do a fusion, or you can search out Hat Tricker, who special summons himself when there are two or more monsters in play, and also any time there would be an effect, he can counter to get really big, but you're never going to use him for that. You're just going to use him as a special summon, and he's also an Earth, so you can make Sheki Naga with it. So I've subsequently upped my Sheki Naga count. Then for the rest of the deck, three Mathematicians. The card's bonkers in, in here now. As you send Shadows, and you send Perform Ages, 
if you happen to have a trick hack or trick in your hand, you can just summon him, dump uh, trick clown, special trick clown, special hat tricker, and go into a rank four or I don't know, say uh, diamond. That's possible. That's a possibility. And then when he dies, he gets your draw, and of course, Earth Monster for Ma uh, for Shekinaga. Then I'm running two copies of Maxi and two copies of Effect Mailer for Hand Traps. This deck likes to go second all the time, so having those cards that allow me to benefit from going second are great, i.e. Maxi for draws, Veiler for negation, although to be honest, I'm thinking of cutting these things out entirely and going triple Veiler in a one of something else, maybe a breakthrough skill or Vanity's Emptiness, because at the moment I'm only running with trap. And finally, one copy of Sackluster Soldier. No real need to explain him. Then for the spells, uh, three L Shadow All Fusion and three Shadow All Fusion. I feel six fusions are required now. Your Shadow All Fusion will be very live, very often, and L Shadow is the literal of nuts with this deck. How it hasn't been limited yet, I don't know, but I feel like it's going to at some point. Three Upstart, because I'm playing a combo deck. Foolish Burial, because it does a whole bunch of crap here. One Regeki to clear the board, one Soul Charge because it's a win button, and then finally for my one up trap I'm playing Shadow Core just so I can get back Shadow Fusions from the graveyard with Construct. And then for the extra deck, running three copies of L Shadow Construct, the card's stupid, and I will not be surprised if this also gets hit at some point. I'm really thinking that Konami's gonna wait for the tins to come out Make your money off of that, then they'll finally hit Shadows. Or maybe they'll just make a ban list after Worlds? It's a possibility, but anyway, Construct is, well, Construct blows up Special Summon monsters on attack, dumps things when Special Summon, and it's ridiculously easy to make now because you have good lights to fuse instead of having to do stuff like summon a Wyver Buster and then fuse with that. So three Construct. I'm running two Sheki Naga. I found the second one to be really useful here, so that's what I'm doing for the moment. Two window, wish I could run more, but I cannot. And I am also running, well rather, I, I'm i missing one more card, and that's uh, Noia Tillis. I don't own one yet, and I was looking to get one for the weekend actually, but I then I got an offer for this deck, so I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna bother with that. So yeah, that's what my fusion ratio would be. It would be three Sheki Naga, or three Wind Construct, three Sheki Naga, two Winda, and one Annoia Tillis, giving us three, six, eight fusion monsters, which is, I think, a fair number. Then for the Ixies, I'm running a one Castell, one Dweller, one Dire Wolf to pop back row, and this is supposed to be a Diamond King Crab. As I feel like having out the towers is a kind of a necessity in this deck. Incidentally, um, this could also be Trapeze Magician. Like I keep saying, Trapeze Magician is not actually integral to the deck. It's just really good. It allows you to OTK much easier, but you can get away with, with running it. So this could also be that. It just depends on whether or not you have to deal with either Klee or not. We currently have one Klee player here, so I don't actually need Diamond King as badly as I would on Dev Pro. So this is instead going to be a Trapeze Magician, as Trapeze on Construct is stupid, as you guys have seen. And then one copy of Rhapsody, because here I play, I'm play. i more prone to playing decks like Necros and Tellardites and Heroes and stuff that do not need the graveyard and just being able to banish those things and then equip this to a Direwolf or Castell is pretty nice. Then for the Synchros, one copy of Leo and one Trishula. And that's it for the deck itself. Um, I'd say it's pretty standard. Most of the lineup is pretty par for the course. I think the only real deviations you can make here are if you want to run Hand Trap, BLS, Upstarts, and that's pretty much it. Like It's very tight, but it's a very solid engine. And yeah, that's my take on Performing Shadows. As for what you can expect next on the blue corner, well, as you saw, I am trying to build dragons. It hasn't been easy because certain cards have proven to be very difficult to get, but at the very least, I can attempt uh, to give, uh, make, take, uh, 
try my take on Project Red. Oh no, I'm spoiling it. It's not. It's not set in stone yet. Uh, one thing I've already noticed, at least from just fish bowling this deck, is that you need to get out of the early game really badly, and I'm not running enough cards to help do that. So I'm thinking of running Pot of Dualities, and I'm also running thinking of running a third normal Red Eyes monster, either Black Flare or Black Dragon, just so I can take advantage of Flare Metal Dragon, because one Red Eyes and one Black Flare Dragon just doesn't work. So, yeah, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Blue Starter 9, jacking out.